Welcome to Osaka! It's my first time here and I've got a lineup of it that you don't want to miss. From hidden gems to famous spot, I'm taking you through one of Osaka's tastiest vibe. Let's go! First stop, Green Air Bakery. I stumbled upon this place thanks to TikTok and wow, it did not disappoint. I went for the berry flavor pizza and let me tell you, one bite of this and I was in pastry heaven. Just look at it. If you're a fan of those delicious surprises, do stick around because there's so much more to come. And this was such a true love. And then next up, while shopping, we spotted a Coco Ichibanya. And that's when you know I couldn't pass it up. Curry fan, this one's for you. Even though it's a classic Coco Ichibanya, you know some things about it. Something about having it here in Osaka kind of just hit differently. Like the curry, the vibes, the food, the ingredient, the batter. It's like having the having the thing from this original sauce. Um it wasn't fantastic but girl it's worth a try if nothing else can up your list. We also did some shopping around a small walk along the area and there's so much food in this area like oh my gosh then after a bit of shopping we finally made it to the Michelin rated Okonomiyaki spot it was very very crowded and there's a huge queue for it so do come early before the queue actually gets cut off and you can't really enter the place and here's one thing I need as a rookie master I only ordered one serving and seriously, please don't be like me. If you are coming here, order extra because it was so good. I tried to order like extra serving and the staff was like, Oh no, you can't because there are other people waiting for the, for the line and there are limits for per diner, which I totally agree. So next time when you are coming here, do not make this mistake. It's really so good. I instantly regret not having more. Enjoy this little time. Everything was so good that I even almost considered going back. We chose for a second for a second time, but instead we went next door to try out the Ichiran ramen. It was supposed to be like a next day thing, but because we were still hungry from whatever we ate, so Ichiran ramen it is. There was quite a short queue and I think it was quite okay. So here's a little mini vlog. And this is everything I've got. I think I've got the one of the soup, the classic one, I believe. Now, Ichi Rice is a special shout out because this ramen, it was game changer. I wasn't expecting a lot, but oh my gosh, it was so good. Osaka, you have been incredible, and there are so many more places to explain. I can't wait to try them all the next time. And then, I'll be Ichi Rice. So, bye bye.